welcome to your PT Plus all-in-one course online lessons. Now this is the part two introduction of PTE writing and we'll be focusing on how to increase your effectiveness when you're preparing for this section. So we're going to start by first ensuring that you understand some of the most important and key aspects about PTE writing. The first key understanding is that PTE writing is completely machine based. So a machine will be scoring your written response rather than a human examiner. And this makes it really new and quite different to the other exams you may have taken before. And I would say that this is a good difference as well. Because for many students who have done other exams, let's say the IELTS exam, the writing section is often the most challenging and also quite difficult to get high scores in. And a part of it is also because of the unavoidable subjectivity with human examiners. Because what one human examiner might think is good writing may not be that great to another examiner. Whereas with a machine, it can be really consistent in what it looks for and in the way that it scores. And that means that for us, it is very important to know what the machine wants and how to achieve what it wants in order for us to be most effective in achieving high scores. Now, once we understand that, let's talk about the second key understanding about PTE writing, which is knowing what actually makes up your score for PTE writing and how it interlinks with other sections of the exam. So let's start by looking at the writing question types and understanding the number of marks that they're worth. Now, from part one, you would know that there are these two writing question types. And for each of these, this is the number of questions you will face in the exam. And that really just depends on how many the machine randomly generates for you. Now, more commonly, students will get two summarized written text and two write essays, but you could also get three here and one write essay. Now, each summarized written text is worth seven marks, and each write essay question is worth 15 marks. So in total, they would add up to around this number of marks. Now, the next important thing to realize from here is that these aren't the only question types that actually make up your writing score. Question types from other modules and other sections in your exam contribute and add into your writing score as well. And a big chunk comes from your listening section, especially summarize spoken text and write from dictation. Now in listening, these two are worth the most number of marks and they also contribute significantly to your writing marks as well. So you'll see that we often place strong emphasis on doing well in these two question types. Now also, fill in the blanks from both listening and also in the reading section add to your writing score as well. Because all of these question types require to either listen or read and then write in your response. That's why they also reflect your writing ability and are factored into your writing score. So this stresses the importance that when you're preparing for writing, you need to also make sure that you study for these question types in the other sections as well, because they are just as important for your writing score in the end. Now, the third key thing to understand is that it works the other way too. So you're writing question types or mainly summarized written text because this requires you to read a text and then summarize it. So it's also assessing your reading skills, right? Which means it contributes to your reading score as well. Okay, so now we've covered the key understandings for PTE writing. The first being that it is machine based and that makes it quite different to a human scored exam. The second is understanding how your writing question types contribute to your writing score. And the third is knowing that question types in other sections of your exam also add to your writing score. And finally, your writing question types contribute to your scores in other sections as well. So with all of this understanding, now it comes to how. How can I be most effective in my preparation? 
The first thing is to ensure that you have a strong base in your writing question types first. Because like we said, it is a machine-based exam. And that means that it is really important to know what the machine is looking for in your writing and what it gives high scores to. And you can do all that in your own time under this learn section of your all-in-one course. Now, every question type will have different requirements. Therefore, you'll find full sets of detailed lessons for each question type. And in this case, I'm looking at summarized written text. So you can see that the lessons will progress you through mastering this question type. Firstly, with an overview lesson. And this will give you a thorough understanding of what this question type involves and what the machine wants from you for this question type. Then you've got these methods lessons as well, and they will equip you with the best techniques to tackle this question type and achieve top scores. And then you've also got the practice lessons where you're going to be able to do it with the teacher and put those techniques to practice in these lessons. So in this manner, you are learning the most effective techniques in the most effective way. Now, apart from the practice in the lessons, you also need to be doing as much practice as you can. And to be most effective with your practice, you need to be able to see how the machine is scoring you and also be learning from the top score sample answers. And you can do all this in the practice section of your all-in-one course. Every single question you do in there will be scored by the machine in detail for every single criteria. So you can see this is the scoring for summarized written text, and this is the scoring for an essay question. And in there as well, it helps you identify some of the areas and mistakes that you're making and how you can correct them. And if you scroll down, there will also be top score sample answers for every single question. And this is how you can practice most effectively to maximize your improvement. Now, of course, each of us have different PTE levels and we have different strengths and weaknesses. So, for example, let's say your writing score is not that great, but actually you're really strong in the writing question types. So what that means is that actually you need to be spending more of your time on the listening question types because maybe those are the ones that are dragging your writing score down. So now it comes to the question of how do I then make sure that I am always working on the question types or the things that are most important and going to give me the biggest uplift in my scores. Your all-in-one course is designed to analyze you 24-7 and guide you on that. So in the home section, you will see your next focus areas. And what this does is that it is 24-7 analyzing your learning and your practice and all the assessments you may have done to recommend the top three things you need to be working on the most right now in order to gain the most uplift in your scores. So this will continually guide you on what you should be doing next, all the way until you reach your PTE goal. So if you've done the PTE exam before and you have a score report, then the first thing you want to do is go to the analyze section and make sure that you set your PTE goal here and upload your score report for the first recommendations on your next focus areas. So today we covered the key things you need to understand about PTE writing and thus the ways to be most effectively preparing for it, which is by number one, learning about what the machine wants from your writing and applying the techniques and methods to achieve what it wants. And number two, practicing with machine feedback and top score sample answers so that you can maximize your improvement. And number three, doing all of this with the most effective study plan that adapts to your needs and will give you the biggest uplift in your scores. So remember to work hard and also to work smart. And I will see you in the next lesson.